So we're going to work with yes and no. This is another expression of yin and yang. We see the basic, basic in body polarity, incredibly important part of life for all of us. Um, we have preferences, that's something we'll reveal. We're going to use the embodied yoga postures for yes and no. Um, Aaron and Neil are joining us again to show a couple of different, um, different human beings doing this. Um, I'm going to show them the posture and they're going to try and do the posture as best they can. Um, you've done this for me a bit before, I think. I don't think you've done this for me before. Did you? Once the workshop did, did, yeah. Okay, so they have seen it before, but what will be interesting is the deviation that they do from what I do. That in itself is interesting. Okay, so facing uh, towards the camera, and we'll do no first of all. So if you remember, there's a gap between the front feet, so not quite a worry pose, and some space between you, if you would. And this hand in front, and this hand on the hip. Okay, this is a basic no posture. I'll show it for the side of my study shot. Yeah, yeah, okay. And what you'll notice with different people is they'll do slightly different things. Um, like, for example, she's got her arms straight. Some people are more like pushing away with their no, her arms straight. Other people are a bit more in. That's another pattern you see. Neither of them are doing that. Some people are more in the middle. Um, you'll notice, are they facing the front? So that's another pattern. Some people will face their belly button towards the front. Try that, see how it feels. Yeah, okay. Other people will be more to the side. Try that, see how it feels. Okay, great. The other hand is interesting. Some people, um, my partner does it like this. Okay, it's quite aggressive. Other people it's more like limp, kind of not really. There's no consequence to their no. Yeah, it's like no, but I won't back it up. Um, so again, you could explore that. Like kind of, it was just quite high, which is interesting. So yeah, it's just from Wing Chun actually. So more on the hip and try to just, just from his martial arts background, I guess. So um, yeah, is it tense? Is it kind of soft? Is it ready but not necessarily there? Uh, it's oh, just just internally, internally. The other thing we might notice is how bent is that front knee? Is there, is there no really forwards engaged? Or is it more like sort of backwards and no? It starts to get more like no, but yes. Um, other things we can see is in a space in the hands. Some people do their no, like fingers pointing forwards. Uh, try this one just to demonstrate. And it's more like, that's more like reaching or halfway up. Mm. It's more like kind of stroking. So. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> some people's feels like that, yeah, this is kind of like that, yeah. Other people's is really stiff, other people's is totally open, there's holes in their nose. You'll also see whether the hand is in front of the heart or off to the side. So yours is much more open, and this is much more in front of his head, actually, the level of it. So there's lots of ways in which they could, um, this is deviation principle, or in yoga they talk about exposure, exposing your pants. If I don't have any firm conclusions, it might just be they've got a stiff shoulder or whatever, right? But these are certainly um, interesting places to start a coaching session from, right? And um, swap sides, just to use both sides. And what I might ask them to do is to make their mistakes more obvious. So instead of correcting it like we would in, say, Iyengar Yoga, we'd say, right, what do you feel like doing in your body? Do more, yeah, okay, so Erin's a turn of the way, as pointed out before, <laughs> okay. So we might have an interesting coaching session about how she is in confrontation, yeah. We don't have to go there, but just to... Sort of Fantastic, the confrontation. <laughs> I think you can see the real truth. So um, um, what do you kind of feel like doing with the hand or the, what, what is it? Um, well, I just feel like putting my arm down because it's aching. <laughs> so you can swap side. Yeah. If the physical gets in the way, you need to swap. So what we're looking for is what's like emotionally uncomfortable. Got an injury, swap sides. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking for what's like emotionally uncomfortable about the pose. Yeah, for you it might be facing. That's a common one. Um, it's like for you, do you, some people feel like being more here or more here? Yeah, Aaron was kind of pushing away before rather than being here. Yeah, yeah. Which do we, what do you feel like doing? How do you feel? Yeah, the only thing I feel like doing is bring this higher. Ah, this is more familiar to my. Great, so so this is important. If someone has a reason for deviation that's simply training based, mm. we need to know that. Because that's mm. not a pattern, most likely. It's just because he has a particular martial arts training. So it's good to be able to kind of take that out of the equation, as it were. Mm. Yeah? Or you could get them to try. Try aggressive, both of you, like pushing away, um, to really push forwards on the front knee. Okay, now try passive, come back, and kind of be a bit squished. And now try in the middle. And like, which, which is the most familiar, right? So we're working with the familiarity. So we're working with what's familiar, you know, more time for this, we go more into asking them about that. But we could also work with, you say you came in a little bit? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> By the way, there are a couple, and it's often the case that couples have opposite uh, compounds, that's quite typical. So, um, we could also use this as a coaching process. So let's, let's do this for real. Um, shake off a little bit here. I'm going to ask you in a minute, what do you need to say no to in your life? Yeah, so straight back into the posture without too much thinking about it. 
And for real, pick something you don't mind sharing on camera, but something genuine. What do you need to say no to in your life? In yourself, perhaps, or others? Uh, giving time to my anxiety. Okay, great. And notice if that's difficult. Say no in your first language. Say no in your first language. Wait, say no about oh, language. No. <laughs> okay, notice if she laughs or if she goes into a fight or fight, leaves the centre. <laughs> Yeah. So she's studying what happens to her now in a bit of context. Yeah. It takes courage, so I'm holding this with some sensitivity. Yeah. Neil, what do you need to say no to in your life? Mm, I can't really think of anything on the spot right now. And yourself, maybe? Or yeah. Um, what are you doing too much of, or someone's pushing a boundary yeah. for you, or yeah, people who want free classes sometimes happens, doesn't it, as a yoga teacher? Or Bates rates, I have to say no to that sometimes. Um, just... One that is already improving, but um, saying no to gossip. Ah, okay, so not gossiping, saying no to that urge yeah. in yourself, yeah. right? So yeah. you can say the word gossip out loud. That juicy kind of. Yeah, oh, that's tempting, isn't it? It's very tempting. <laughs> okay, so saying no. No. And noticing if that's harsh, if that's too soft. You know, for me, if I was coaching him, I'd probably give him the feedback that I felt a little bit on the sort of harsh side. Okay. So he might be being a bit harsh with himself, yeah? But that's something he can feel out for himself mm. as well. Yeah, I'm a bit of a shortcut. And you want to hold in mind your context, there and say no again? No. Okay, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, let's look at it. Rather than judge it, it's rubbish. Like, what specifically did you do? What's the first thing you did when you said no? Laughed. Okay. And notice for her, that's a pattern for him. It's not. We all have different patterns. Excuse me, we have different patterns, yeah? So for her, that might be part of nervousness or whatever. So she could use this as a practice in order to learn to say no without that laughing and you get out of it, right? <laughs> Stop. Especially because yeah. I practiced it twice in my head first. Right. <laughs> so this is where we practice our bodies. That's what embodiment's all about. Okay, so one more time. Center yourself, relax your belly, find your feet on the ground. Some people need a little bit more support, we know. You might find, yes, easier. Yeah. So we're here, we're here. Relax your jaw. <laughs> you can if you want. It's your choice, but I can kind of help you with this if you want. Okay, relax into it. Feel your feet. Keep it's because you're watching me. Keep breathing. He's not watching Keep breathing. Uh, and just say no. No. Okay, how was that? Okay, I to, I wanted to say it stronger and actually I just had to yeah. not so I didn't do the laughing. Did you, you didn't laugh though, right? No. So I didn't for me laugh. that seemed an improvement, right? So <laughs> <laughs> it looked real different, yeah? yeah? Okay. So one of the things I did there is just help to kind of coach through it, she had a little bit of support with it. We toned it down a little bit, you did that yourself, which seems to seem to be helpful. I have to feel her feet kind of taking it down because laughing's kind of up. But also stood pretty close to her. So this is the body coaching thing that I found a no in my body and I stood close enough to her there was a bit of resonance. So I'm kind of like a crutch for her right now. I was supporting her. But over time she's learning to do that a few times on her own. And that to me really looked like a massive improvement from how it was before. Yeah. So we're becoming aware of patterns. We're building new, new possibilities and relating it to things in our life. So good, strong work. That was no. We'll do another video, I think, on yes to give you a quick break. So you saw your no coaching before. No can be pretty intense and bring things up for people. So again, quick break before doing yes. Um, so it's another embodied yoga one that I use also with coaching work. Um, so being able to say yes fully to things, really important skill like having a good clean yes rather than maybe. Um, so posture for this is straightforward. It's one foot slightly to the side, a bit like no, but with a bit more weight on the back foot. And palms open, so the palms are facing the front and away from your waist, so in this position. There we go, okay. So weight is slightly back, wide, open, the spine in this concave shape. So not here, but more here, yeah? It's almost difficult for younger people. Okay, so first of all, I want you to notice what you're doing differently from what I'm doing. I don't think you've done this one with me before. So, I can't do that, but it's very uncomfortable, so it doesn't feel like well, it Yeah, well this is the thing, it shouldn't feel overwhelmed, it should feel comfortable. And Well, it might not feel comfortable if it's not your habit, that's one thing to realise. But it shouldn't be physically uncomfortable, right? you're just putting maybe 60% weight on the back foot. So what you'll notice straight away, and I'll give you guys a break, so I'm going to show you some patterns here, is people will do things that are different from uh, what I showed, like right? they're both intelligent people, they know a lot about embodiment actually. Um, but they still do the things that are a bit different, and they're assuming they weren't like, injured or anything like that. For example, this is one pan, this is more like a yes! That's different from a yes. It's a very different kind of yes, it's also yes, this a little bit. Um, palms to the front, so specifically said, and often people will start doing this, this is like, mm, 
or they'll start sort of more like giving, yeah, rather than saying yes, um, or they'll start containing, palms start going in. Now, why? You know, it's their personality, it's their embodiment's reasserting itself. Could just be the situation, remember the layers, but often it's the disposition. So those little movements with the hands can reveal people's patterns around yes. Does it tend to be overly giving or this throwing yourself in yes? Or does it tend to be more like containing that starts to become no actually at that point? Yeah, so you go from that to that, oh, definitely no. So um, they're revealing their patterns, yeah? Now, we've already seen this with nice, so I won't um, subject these guys to more, more scrutiny on camera, but you probably saw some, and you, when you do this with people, you'll definitely see some patterns. Um, so, so oh, another one, like, like um, a little bit close or a little bit open like this, you'll see different patterns. Okay, so now we can do some coaching around this. What do they choose to say yes to in their lives? Right, so back in our yes postures, if you're willing to. That's it. You can feel exposed on camera, yes, yeah, so I appreciate that. So feet slightly wider, you'll get a bit of a base. And palms to the sides, yeah, palms go up. So palms forwards uh, and to the sides. Yeah, great. Okay. Ah, soften the jaw, soften the eyes. Part of yes is a kind of soft tone, peripheral vision. And what do you choose to say yes to in your lives? To accept, to embrace fully. Say yes in your first language. Say yes, just it'll help you kind of get into the mode. Yes. 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 Ah, say ah. 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 There's an ah, it's not a special oh, uh, no, ah. Anything that comes up for you, what could benefit you to say yes to in your life? To allow in. Um, saying yes to help from people. Lovely. This is an issue for many men, I find particularly. Yeah. Saying yes to people's help and support. If it helps, you can imagine an image like someone's about to give you a huge bunch of flowers. You're like, yes, a really good meal. What about you, Aaron? Is there something that comes up? You can pass as always. Yes, to what to find a work. I say yes to my relationship and oh. my job and my family. Great. <laughs> Life, generally. Beautiful. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. So this is how we coach with yes, and you're getting to see patterns. Is it easy? Is it difficult? Where do they need to say yes? And not just like theoretically, right? So you can, yeah, a lot of guys are like, you know what, I really should, uh, you know, accept more help from other people. Like, you know, I know that, I get that one, right? Common, common. But how are they doing that? How are they building that skill? Well, finding the body that can say yes, yeah? So that's the first thing. Then they've got something they can really practice and get on with. Um, and some amazing insights I've seen in coaching with this will come for people like, you know what, I need to say yes to my wife just really accept that she is who she is. And someone might be 10 years struggling with their wife, they just go, I get it now. So you will see strong insights for these quite quick postures.